Uh, actually, uh, the, the way my friend has explained very well about the youth, uh, I remember very well Mr. Kibaki uh, did not want people to line up on the road and wanting for free things. Mm. I worked not with him very well. <laughs> I remember I was close to him because of my age of treating the National Police Service. Uh, but President Moy was very friendly. He needed people to align, even students for, for go education and line on uh, the road. Uh, wait, I mean, I grew up in that generation. If he was just passing by, everyone had to be there. Had to yes, yes, mm. in with a and little flag. Nothing, yes, a little <laughs> flag <laughs> coming. Or, or, he, he just <laughs> wanted to see reporters, you know, that he's, he's being welcomed. That, that was a tradition for him. But now, President Kibaki, he changed. Uh, let me tell you, uh, tell you that uh, I grew in different levels and uh, where I came from, I saw many things and I realized that if I don't own what I want and, uh, and just aim to what I want, I can't get it. But you realize that now some parents are not responsible. Uh, in fact, a parent has children who are over 18 years and don't want them to take any responsibility. We we'll want to let them sit somewhere, and the parent does everything. The parent does want to engage the children, even tell them, okay, you need to have a responsibility. You know, we need to empower children. How can we empower them? Letting them to know that they can do communal work at home is not punishment. And some parents don't want. When they employ uh, uh, mates, they employ uh, or the, the, the houseboys, they want them to do everything. They don't want to allow the children to know even how to cook. We know how to cook. We know how to do certain things. I remember I used to wake up early morning. I was told that go and palilia at least one line before you go to school. And then you come back from school, another line of maize. You palilia. You know what palilia? Yes. Mm, yeah. Weeding. I'm mm. weeding. But you see, nowadays it doesn't happen. So, okay, that's why you realize that uh, youth, there are too many in this country. They have a higher population. They can take over this country. Why can't they take over? And we join them in the leadership. But you realize even they're not voting. They, realize, they think that the parents will vote for them to get opportunities. They need to create opportunities for themselves. And I always tell uh, youth through my consortium, PMAC International and Spectre Professional, which last year I won, I was voted the best globally through my initiative. You understand? Number one. I tell them that let us t tell uh, the employers as youth, employ youth without asking for experience. And then we professionals, we demand at the youth. Because I work in the United Nations without experience, I was mandated. I was employed in the public service, and then I was mandated. Because, you know, you want to know how much am I going to get. If you want to get employment, don't ask for how much. Ask for the job. Even if it's for free, you get experience, and then money will come. But most youths will want money, will want just to sit and be given the jobs, and some parents all contribute to that. So what's important is to tell the youth, let them be responsible. 